What's going on guys, this is the Player here and today I'm bringing you the first of many tips and tricks videos which are really high effort, there's quite a bit of editing going into these and uh, I think they're really really useful, they're not just your old standard I like this, this is kind of useful, these are really like, I'm going to private matches, I'm trying out everything so I can bring you the best information, so I really hope you enjoy these videos and uh, yeah, so to get right into this, this is the Hellstorm missile we're focusing on right now and pretty much how to destroy it so I'll start playing the clip and uh, yeah, so here we're showing the Hellstorm missile when it comes in, you can actually shoot it, I did not know this but uh, yeah with a sniper rifle I guess it's kind of easy because you can just shoot right at it and it kind of if you get the uh, variable zoom attachment for your sniper rifle you can zoom in and shoot it but uh, it's not that easy guys it is really quite hard because typically the Hellstorm missile will move around it's quite slippery it's quite fast to be honest and uh, you can see me like you'd think those shots right there they look quite on target but in fact it does not work so uh, I guess it's kind of hard here I'm just trying the small for some reason I don't know why it's just why not you know but uh, yeah the small is definitely not a good way to shoot this down here I'm showing the uh, stinger will not lock onto the thing it will not uh, even do anything lock on required and uh, yeah don't even try the stinger but uh, also we have the Black Cat PDA. This is surprisingly not effective at all because the Black Cat PDA is actually amazing at so many things. But things like Hellstorms, they're actually not effective at. So don't bother trying to whip out your hair, your Black Cat PDA if you see a Hellstorm coming in. Here are normal bullets, which works quite amazingly because that was a Scorpion Evo 3, which is a submachine gun. Which, you know, is pretty quite inaccurate and I can show another angle here. Um, you can just shoot the thing with regular bullets if you get it before it bursts. Now that's the thing with the Hellstorm missing. You need to get it before it bursts and you need to get it quite fast here you can see I was actually being quite inaccurate or I, I, I kind of I guess I thought I was kind of hitting the thing it's kind of got dodgy hit detection I think you kind of need to shoot a little bit behind it and kind of lead the bullets because the hellstorm is quite fast but uh, yeah eventually you get it you do get 125 points and the intercepted metal will pop on your screen and 125 points that's actually quite a lot that will help you with your kill streaks and uh, 125 points is decent for something that you can easily look up in the sky and shoot if you've got a gun that's quite accurate it will do the job. Here we have probably the most interesting part about this. This trophy system and look at that. Just absorbed the whole thing. Sucked in like a black hole. And uh, the trophy system kind of amazed me. Because as we might know from uh, Modern Warfare 3. The trophy system will uh, absorb enemy projectiles. And uh, this goes to things as big as the Hellstorm missile. The Hellstorm missile is, is absolutely huge. You can see here we're now attached to it. And uh, as the thing comes down. Obviously this is without burst. As the thing comes down it will just absorb the thing. And it's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah that little Hellstorm. That little uh, trophy system that will be able to absorb one other thing so uh, if you don't know that the trophy system is able to absorb two enemy projectiles that includes many things and uh, yeah the hellstorm is one of them so if the hellstorm isn't bursted you'll be able to absorb it but unfortunately what is likely to happen is the enemy will burst it is quite rare the enemy won't burst the hellstorm missile and like that boom unfortunately it will not absorb the uh, the burst missile so if they burst on you don't bother with the uh, trophy system and I figured seeing as each trophy system can absorb two I tried to throw down two trophy systems see if that would work but no it just uh, you, you'll just get blown up and I don't really know why that is exactly because in theory it should work but uh, I don't know I guess uh, this is the uh, EMP grenade this is quite interesting because you have to time it perfectly and I literally mean within probably about half a second or else you will not be able to do this the uh, EMP grenades are very strange you can see right there you don't actually have to throw the EMP at the Hellstorm missile because EMP grenades in this game do not uh, detonate in midair. They will only detonate uh, once they've hit the ground, just like stun grenades. They will not detonate midair, so you can't throw them up. But uh, yeah, you have to get the timing right. You can see just a second there that I threw them pretty close, but it didn't do it. And uh, just then I did it again, and somehow it works. I don't know. The EMP grenades are very, very unpredictable, very hard to do, and I wouldn't really recommend it if you see enemy Hellstorm coming in. But once again, this is all if it doesn't burst. So it's quite rare that this happen. Your best bet probably is just to look up in the sky and uh, shoot it with a gun that is my best tip if you've got a red dots out or an accurate gun it will help um, here I'm just trying out the riot shield or the assault shield uh, you know why not I just figured to uh, kind of see because I'm aware in uh, black in Modern Warfare 2 you could actually use a riot shield to deflect any explosives like that but uh, here is uh, not the case you'll just get completely owned by the Hellstorm missile but I hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it useful and uh, definitely like it if you found it useful and you want to see some more of these I've been there and play out and I'll see you guys later.